What's going on, YouTube? T. Allen, back with another car video. It is early in the morning. I just wanted to speak on different uh, experiences in my life, you know? So I was gonna speak about the, my freshman year at the University of Finley and what it's like being at the University of Finley. Coming from the city, um, the only reason I stumbled upon University of Finley because I played football there. Uh, it's a Division II school. They were NAIA at one point, then they became a Division II school. So that's the only reason why I went there. When I went on uh, my uh, official visit, they did not let people know that University of Finley, if you're not playing football, is an equestrian school. So y'all probably heard Drake say, you know, talk about equestrian or whatever, right? Boom. Equestrians are rich, mostly white people who um, ride horses, right? So I, they did not show none of, well, me or the other football players, I assume, that this was mainly an equestrian school, not a, you know, a, a football school. So, you know, I get finessed really into going there. They tell all the football players, you know, that signed with the school that they were going to build this big ass stadium and all this, you know, state of the art technology, all this extra shit. Right. Nigga, fast forward. We get there. These niggas stadium is sh terrible. They sent out an email talking about they're not building a new stadium anymore. Whole bunch of finesse game. Right. Now, this is I'm going to tell you about this nigga. The practice field that we had to practice on. People had to get in their cars and drive like five, ten minutes to the practice field from the university. I'm like, nigga, how the fuck is we playing football? Y'all niggas got niggas piling, piling in cars with shoulder pads, helmets, the whole motherfucking fit on. And we're going and practicing at a field ten minutes down the way. These niggas shared the same field with like a high school. You feel me? Like, how in the hell do y'all tell all the recruits that y'all building this stadium? Then we get there. The stadium y'all say that y'all about to build is, is not being built anymore. And the current stadium that we have to practice and play in is a high school stadium that y'all share with the, the high school. So I'm like, man, I got to get the fuck out of here, right? But my experience was there was cool, though. You know, like, like I said, I'm from Lorraine which is 25 minutes outside of Cleveland. Now I live in Cleveland for about shit since 19. I'm 26 now. So for seven years, I've been living in Cleveland. So I'm a city, I'm a city nigga, bro. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty. I like to keep my hair done, nails done. They didn't even have a, a, uh, a barbershop in Finley, like a black owned barbershop. Like there was no, there was no barbershop there. Like there was only, I think one or two people, you know, black niggas on the team that cut hair, thank God, or, you know, niggas was going to be fucked up. They forced me. I was so broke and so, uh, you know, not experienced at the time, nigga. I went in and just started cutting my, my, my hair all the way down to one because I'm like, man, y'all just got me looking fucking nutty out here. You feel me? That kind of fucked up my hair. So I had to regrow my motherfucking hair back. I'm talking about this shit was so isolated. You know what I'm saying? And then Spurs. I never seen Spurs before. And most niggas don't know what Spurs are, right? Spurs are a certain type of shoe that, you know, people who work in, um, you know, you know what horses or, you know, cowboy shit they wear to, you know, hold on to the horse more or some shit. Anyway, these women would have these spurs on, these certain type of cowboy girl shoes, right? Cowboy girl shoes. And they would go into our cafeteria smelling like fucking ass. I'm talking about nigga. It was like manure. They smelled like manure, which everybody knows what manure is, which is, uh, you know, compost of shit from animals. And they would be fine with, you know, smelling like that. 
I'm going to tell y'all the true uh, population diversity of University of Finley. It was 90% whites, 5% Middle Easterns, I would say 3% blacks and 2% other. Mind you, the 3% of the blacks were 90% of the 3% of blacks were on the football team or on the basketball team. The year I went, I graduated in 2014, so I must have uh, went in 2014 or 2015. I'm not sure. I went right after fucking high school, so um, whatever year that was. And that year, bro, we had so many motherfucking allegations of sexual assault against people on the football team, people on the basketball team. Came out years later that these accusations were false. You could go Google this stuff right now. The University of Finley false accusations made against several black football and basketball players at the time that I was there. My freshman, uh, my freshman year, whatever is that spring semester? Yes, that's a spring semester because in college is spring and fall semester, only two semesters. So my spring semester, I think there was four different sexual alleg assault allegations on campus coming out years later, which everybody knew at the time that this was false. And they blasted these people's names out via email to everybody that was on the university's uh, email list. So if you were a student, if you were a parent, if you were a motherfucking teacher, janitor, nigga, they put these men's names saying that they sexually assaulted this woman which came out years later was not true so and let you know where university of finley is located it's middle of ohio which me being from lorraine and cleveland i'm thinking the whole city is fucking filled with light-skinned biracial you know black people white people asian people puerto ricans bro it's not like that when you go outside of Cincinnati, Cleveland, you know, Columbus. Once you get outside of these major cities in, 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 in Ohio, these are small towns filled with 90% Caucasian people who have Trump signs bigger than their houses sometimes. So it is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's different, you know. That's why they say Ohio. See, I'm an educated young man. You know what I'm saying? They say Ohio is a, you know, swing state, meaning this shit could go blue or this shit could go red. But most of the time, this shit been going blue, a.k.a. Republican, because, you know, it's heavily white people in Ohio, which I did not know because I grew up in the demographic that I grew up in. You know what I'm saying? Lake Erie was 10, 15 minute ride for me from my from any house of mine growing up. So I... Nigga, I always been by the city. So going down there and, and experiencing that 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 southern, well it's not southern, it's middle Ohio living was a total culture shock to me. So any you know minorities watching this video, or even, you know, basketball, football, any any you know person that is thinking about going to University of Finley. Just, you know, rewind this video a couple times and really let this soak in, you know, to your uh, subconscious and your conscious because it was so much stuff that was going on that I was just totally shocked from, culture shocked from. I'm like, man, I got to get the fuck up out of here. But for the love of football, you know, I, I, I still wanted to continue to play football or whatever. It's just certain things that you know when you know that the place is not for you you gotta move bro you gotta get up out of there because you know imagine if one of them women lied on me and, and 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 said there was a sexual allegation with me and i didn't do nothing and we was both down giddy up to do this you feel me that that's life altering life changing stuff so fellas you gotta watch your back you know, and, and you got to pick whatever college that you about to go to. You got to do a thorough investigation. You know what I'm saying? Me, I was just thinking about playing football, you know, 
And that's really it. So I can't even tell y'all what classes I even took that semester because it was so much shit going on. Mind you, if you went to college before, you know your first year is really all basic fucking writing, math, and, you know, like regular ass classes. So they probably were some easy ass classes. However, seeing that everybody else around was like totally in a different culture and also the people that did equestrian as their major they had to have a horse they had to pay like six or seven thousand dollars in extra uh tuition so this school was known specifically for this which the football players me my and me and my uh uh, another recruit we room together and um you know before i went before we went down to, to the school me and him trained in the summer together so his experience and 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 pre-knowledge of going down there was the same as mine we did we thought we we're going to some football school that's you know blah blah, blah and, and it was not that bro it was it was not that whatsoever so there and and Man, this shit was just so crazy. Like, I just wanted to drop this on y'all. I don't want to make this video too long. But, fellas, if y'all going to the University of Finley, please look at a couple different other options. And do a thorough investigation. Don't say, oh, Big T steered me wrong. And, oh, he's trying to, he's, he's all this extra negative shit. No, I'm trying to tell y'all what really happened around this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all could take it, not take it. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving y'all what's really real. If y'all motherfuckers, want, when it rains, y'all want to uh, catch a ride to practice that's 10 minutes away. If you're fucking late, you, they, they know why you're late because you had to catch a fucking ride to practice on the shitty ass practice field. It's nasty, bro. The equipment, you know, when you were senior in high school, you get the best equipment. But when you go to these small schools, these division two schools, these division three schools, they give you shitty equipment that maybe your high school, well, my high school had better fucking shoulder pads, better helmets, better, you know, better shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Y'all got me fucked up around here. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, there was one nigga that made it to uh, the league during my freshman year, his senior year, Harold Jones Corte, and he was super athletic freak. Like, he was just stronger, faster than everybody else on the team he couldn't even tackle that well form wise he was just stronger and faster than everybody else so that was i mean that was cool seeing the nfl person up close and, and that really let me know like nigga you're not an nfl size nigga you know what i'm saying but more power to them nfl size niggas you know what i'm saying but really it's about size speed and, and technique and, and all that you know and and wherewithal and the whole nine so fellas it was not the best experience to keep it all the way honey bun, honey bun ouches with y'all. You, know, you know what I'm saying? But I'm out of here. I'm going to drop, keep, keep dropping more content, more and more content, y'all. Tell me what y'all want to talk about next. Like, comment, share. If y'all thinking about going to University of Finley, do a better thorough investigation. If you're going there for equestrian, hey, more power to you. That's what, that's what it's there for. Do not go there for sports, though. I'm out.